Thanks. How's it coming? Sorry, YouTube. Sorry, YouTube, but at least Facebook is working. So, hey, oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. Thank you all for joining. And uh, we're still working out all of the kinks, obviously. <laughs> and um, yeah, that song is beautiful. Do what? I, and it's distracting from the show that's here present. So that's the thing I don't want to do, so. We at least know it's uh, it's going to one place, and uh, that's half the battle. So it is live streaming, just not in all the places that I had advertised. I just, you know, this is just my kind of like lot in life. Like I just don't expect things to go according to plan. So as long as everybody's sort of on the same ride, then then it's okay. It's like makes it you it makes you a lot more malleable to like oh. Things change, so then you can kind of pivot and work on it. It's when you like totally melt down because it's not going the way you want to, and uh, and then uh, I, I I just I like to keep my expectations low. Use the P word. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ray Wiley Hubbard always says that it's like his best days are the w the ones that keeps low ex expectations, yep. so yep. to speak. So that's what he says. You know, he says it the same way every time. His delivery is just impeccable, you know? But, uh. All right. I had, um. I had, I, I'm going to do this song. I, I think I'm send it out to my sister because this is my love song for her, and it's a newer one. It's called Cardiac Disaster. I realized one, like, uh, uh, as you do sometimes on Valentine's Day, especially when you're not with a significant other, you're, like, thinking of all your past loves and when you go back to the origi origin story. And I was like, yeah, I think, uh, I think all my relationships are based on the fact that I, I was trying to find a partner that's like my sister and that doesn't really exist. And uh, also it just explains a lot of issues that I have. So <laughs> that was the way that was, like, and of course, I write out all of my feelings, so this is my way of just, you know, all right, well, I'll just write this love song for my sister in song in order to deal with the feelings that I'm having right now. And so I thought it was pr appropriate to title it Cardiac Disaster, right? So here you go. You are the hard string that I like to plug it vibrates out just after it is struck like sonic pulsing watching in real wine until the moment where it goes boom whole surrender a cardiac disaster and tumbling towards it like crash my devastator unraveling faster or hitting I 
go again into a devastating love. I don't think twice, ripped it out and added to the drug. Suicidal tendencies or a morbid desire, it keeps coming back at me like boom. Oh, surrender, a cardiac disaster, and tumbling towards it like crash. My instigator, unraveling faster, or hitting the reset on unrequited love. I know it seems insane, don't you know it? Especially when it's not mutually the same. But I don't regret it. I'd rather to know than to have never experienced that. Boom. Oh, surrender. A cardiac disaster. And tumbling towards it like crash. I never stay. tightly can't ever give you up I still can't give you up I'll never give you up yeah <laughs> I like that one a lot <laughs> thank you a good pop song that's all I'm never trying to accomplish is a good pop song. How about you? What is your like approach to songwriting? Like I've always done it as a therapeutic thing for myself. You know, I write my feelings. So yes, it's <laughs> 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 a good answer. Uh, all of the above. D. All of the above. Um, it changes too. Mm -hmm. Um. I've I've sat down with different intentions, but often what will happen is um, I'll have a melody that's stuck in my head that doesn't belong to anything else, or I hope it doesn't. Like mm -hmm. hope it's not just a song I heard on the radio. <laughs> that that's I'm kind of disappointing when you're like I'm secretly uh. ripping uh, Katy Perry. <laughs> I actually um, did that to a George Strait song. I didn't realize I was <laughs> I was trying to do a co-write with uh, uh, Jack Ingram. And I sent him this melody idea for something, whatever. And he's like, that sounds a lot like uh, the cowboy rides away. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, damn it, you're right. Hey, I, someone that'll call it out and, and knows what it is, that's helpful. Yeah, it is. Because it's, it's really problematic when you get on down the road. Oh, and, yeah. And, uh, you want to release it. And they're, and like they're sending, sending you papers. Yeah. Um, not a good look. <laughs> no, it's not a good look. Totally not a good look. Yeah. Um, so I'll have a melody stuck in my head, and then I'll usually start often, because it's not always the same. I'll try and, like, hum it out on guitar, and I'll just free ad lib, whatever. Mm -hmm. And it usually is, like, the same three things always, but then as I repeat and forget about what I'm saying, real stuff starts to come out. Okay. Because I've noticed like a you therapy write session. You're like, oh, yeah. that's what I'm worried about. I did notice uh, in your writing that you do actually kind of approach a lot of. Uh, I don't. I don't know exactly. Uh, like I know that I talk about my depression and songs and things of that nature. But it seems that you also like attr attribute some of the things that maybe you struggle with in that regard, which I like a lot. For sure, it's very vulnerable of you. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> you got another one? Yeah, it's not very vulnerable, but that's okay. Well, uh, there will be one eventually. Oh, plenty. So. This is like um, a little bit of sass towards technology, maybe. It's Dig. called superstitious. Mm. 
Impossible to be here when my magic mirror keeps moving at the speed of light. Sugar in my pocket, wish I could stop it, but it feels so good to be liked. We want what we can't have and are afraid may never find. My mind is real in a superstitious feeling and it keeps me awake at night. find a picture and I remember back when you were mine. Our love was hectic, you were electric, a current moving up my spine. We want what we can have and are afraid may never find. My mind is real in a superstitious feeling and it keeps Keeps me awake at night. Ooh, 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 ooh. If you want to ride this roller coaster, you're gonna have a hell of a time. You don't know how low you'll have to go to get a little hit of that high. Cause we want what we can have and are afraid may never find. My mind is real in a superstitious feeling and it keeps me awake at night. It is new. Ooh. Dig it. I feel like I have um, very vague references to uh, technology, but my friend posted this one today, so I kind of feel like this sort of falls into that category. This one's called Imaginary. Um, it's on my latest. In, uh, I haven't done it in a while, so let's see if I remember the words. Uh. <laughs> it's not imaginary, the lines we try to bury, hold out and be contrary. Who gets to be extraordinary, but it won't let go. It seems the more you know, the possibility to grow doesn't have much to show. And it's just passing us by, we all weep and cry to the last. Sight and don't fear the light. 
a few things in mind. Oh, hello. Thank you. Thank you, Rumi. Kathy Sis just pointed out we do have a tip jar, so if you like what you're hearing, you want to show your expression in a form, we have tip jars here. Um, and then you can also show your gratitude and appreciation for s Kelly back there with her all different uh, tip jars. I like how they're strategically placed. <laughs> It is. It's impossible to miss. But uh, much appreciated. We are? Yeah. It's working! Yeah. It's working! Yeah. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> Oh, it's good to be back in this room, and I'm so glad you guys are here tonight. Thank you all so much for coming out. It's hard to get people to come out before the sun goes down, you know? It's, uh, it's always weird to come up to a bar, and it's like, oh, there's sun. It is weird. I feel like I'm just kind of a vampire that way, though, you know, like leaving the house when the sun is up, going out for the evening. As the I'm sun goes down, like my energy level goes yes, up. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I have, I have the fun and the joy of driving up to um, Okima um, starting this evening. And uh, I, I like it for one thing in particular. One, there's not a lot of deer on 35, thankfully. But um, also, there's a shit ton less traffic <laughs> driving at night. So I'm like, I'm going to get through Fort Worth, and then I'm going to go to sleep, and then drive the rest of the way tomorrow. So anyway, that's, a, that's, my, that's my plan. Did you say why? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing Woody Fest this weekend. So, Woo. and they are going to be live streaming. So even if you can't go, you can still come and check it out. I'm just saying that's something to do. What you got, lady? I was trying to decide based on your song. Oh, what it's song good. I, I, what yeah. I was gonna do. That 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 song actually was a is a was one of those uh, songwriting prompts that mm -hmm. started and it was imaginary lines is what it was and I, I, I thought I was being really clever by making the line and um, it's not imaginary lines we try to bury so they were like in succession but not I together I loved it no yeah. I, I love it that's my that's favorite that's my dorky thing my favorite like thing to do is break up the prompt <laughs> and put it on different <laughs> lines and I'm like see it's I did it it's still there it's in order <laughs> <laughs> okay I well like now I feel way. like I have to play a sassy um, well my sassy response I like it. You you've already figured out what this is about. Well, I mean it's a songwriting prompt one. It's not based on the content. It's based okay. on that it's a songwriting and you got you fit it all in. I just mean for like what this is up here. You know, uh, it is Bonnie Whitmore and her friends, but it's also like I, I learned from uh, uh, watching John D over the years that it, it's also kind of a sparring match between you. It's so like, oh, I, I I hear that song and I raised you this one. <laughs> So I'm glad that you've already figured that out. You're ahead yeah. of the curve. Uh, this one, I felt like I was really clever working in the prompt. That was what 
And yeah. it's a newer one. I wrote it this year. This year's already half over, though, so it's... <laughs> what? <laughs> That's weird. It's called it's Less and Less. <laughs> I feel like I have to tell you... Should I tell you the prompt before or after? Leave it a surprise. I've never been to Henderson, Nevada. Would I take a train, a bus through the rain, if you said I ought to? And I'd hope you'd be waiting for me at the station. But reality says you'd still be in Austin. upon a time I was on your mind and now it's true I matter less and less to you 133 at that truck on the street Sunday luncheon July blazing sun, margarita drunk, stomach rolling. Too tipsy to drive, so we walk for a while to find water. We got lost on the way, so we sat in the shade to sober. upon a time I was on your mind and now it's true I matter less and less to you I face southwest and watch the sun now is true I matter less and less to you Ooh. Oh, I like that one a lot Oh, Henderson, Nevada, and 133, and Sunday, and Northwest, or Southwest. I think. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're like, you have to, you go to this website, press a button, and it gives you these four things that you have to put in your song. And I was like, what? That's Henderson, that's Nevada. That's a complicated, like, that's, that's. It's a, a overreaching prompt, in my, in my opinion, but yeah. you did a fabulous job. Well, thanks. I also just like the option of doing the uh, minor four, so because of that, I'm going to do this one. Yeah. Um, I have a, a new project that's going to be coming out um, <laughs> with my sister called uh, Whitmore Sisters. I know, it's a really original name, right? <laughs> just figured we didn't have to fight anybody over it. <laughs> but uh, um, and she likes me to make sure that I say it, that we have, we have been planning on doing this for half our lives. Uh, I was being a little too specific with the number, so she was like, just, it's, you don't have to tell them that much. Like, like I'm kind of excited about becoming middle age, and, uh, and she's older, so I guess maybe because she's there already. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> But if you wonder why I'm single, maybe this song will help you uh, 
figure that out. Um, this one's called Hurtin' for Letdown. I was hurting for letdown Just the luck that I found A sad queen in her crown Alone how I rule I didn't want this to work out And any fool could see how It's written in the cards now I was hurting for letdown Well could tell that you were just my type deeply unavailable is my plight if I never cross your mind well that suits me just fine I'm addicted to the heartache I don't want to do what's right Cause I was hurt Just the luck that I found A sad queen in her crown Cause that's how I rule I didn't want this to work out And any fool could see how It's written in the cards now I was hurting for let down Well, it has and in the moment that I met you, deeply un... <laughs> no, where that done? That's okay. Um, we part as friends before the cycle starts again. It's not your fault, I broke my heart. That's just what I do. And I was hurting for Sad queen in her crown Alone how I rule I didn't want this to work out And any fool could see how It's written in the cards now I was hurting for let down Just the luck that I found A sad queen in her crown Cause that's how I written in the cards now I was hurting for let down She'd be so annoyed that I forgot some of the words. <laughs> ah. I know, I had all the chords in there, but it was the minor four action that I was really after on that one. So I like that move. It's a good move. It's the, it's the unexpected, like, ooh, fancy. Of course, it's something that, like, when I learn someone's bass, uh, like, I get hired to play bass with somebody or whatever, and then, and, uh, the like the the minor five or the minor four will always throw me because I'm like, where is that? And I'm like, motherfucker, it's the four. <laughs> Why did it take me all seven of the chords to finally figure that out? Anyway, I did that thing where I was tuning the wrong <gasps> peg. Oh and then I was no! Like, I'm like, no wow, this one's <laughs> really good. Ah, I didn't know it could do that. And you're like, oh no. Yeah, I'm like, well, yeah. it's happening. The, the worst is when you just have to like re uh, tune the whole thing and then tune it back too. So I was like, Yeah, well, I was like, Well, I don't know what I'm doing now. Okay, well. Betty Sue was very smart. She r brought a separate guitar that was tuned differently so she didn't have to worry about the, th the well, tuning in between. You know, or, you know, you just grow up and get a guitar tech. Like, we're all going <laughs> to. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're all going to have one day. Oh. 
to have like that's a dream like it's so weird like okay so everyone is there there's like people who think oh my dream is to play music and that's the whole thing and so you have this idea in your mind or whatever but then when you play music so you're living the dream living your dream uh, and then you see someone else living the dream better than you and so then you're like dreaming of like what it would be like to have a guitar tech and a tour manager and you're just like ah <laughs> yeah so it's, it's just a, the the weird thing about like being a side person for a lot of people over the years because I've done that a lot and it's really cool because you get to see behind the curtain on all the things that you could have <laughs> all the possibilities <laughs> what you can have like paid rehearsal time what you can have a tour manager that will make everything like be there and available to you a guitar tech that will just arbitrarily bring you guitars when you're ready for them yes and then, and then I go back and I tour in my minivan. <laughs> and I dream of the day that I have a bus. Hey. It's okay. Yeah. We'll I get there one day. One day. One day we'll be We're there. We're writing songs about it like they all do. <laughs> this is called I Couldn't See, and it's inspired by, well, I don't mean to project onto that song, but in my mind, it inspired toxic relationships. Oh, yeah. They're so inspiring. That's the problem. That's <laughs> what I at least, I finally so was able to realize songs. that I, it wasn't, I don't have to feel rejected anymore. I was like, oh, no, I'm doing this to myself. <laughs> it's when I finally got that, I was like, oh, okay, I'm doing this on purpose. And I should have figured that out because, like, my first record was about a breakup. Like, it should have, like, given me a little bit of, like, oh, yes, this is what you do. And, uh, yeah, ten years later, I finally learned that lesson. Sort <laughs> of. Kind of. Not really. I couldn't see. <laughs> We took a plane that summer to Seattle. We were four months in. Said I loved and no, he didn't like when we were kissing. I started growing my hair out. He said he liked it long. Mondays at the Red Eye Fly, playing to an empty bar. He was in the corner waiting there to get my stuff into the car. Thought it sweet, I couldn't see there was something deeper going on. He's telling me, he's telling me that I'm the one. There was a night we sat in darkness in my car and I confessed, thought him safe because of faith, but was condemned and feeling stressed. He took me to a field, tried to pray it out of me in tongues.
every now and then I think about him late at night How he was the worst thing and the best thing at the same damn time And why the hell it took so long to find the will to run been there <laughs> <laughs> those are like the best worst because you just like especially um i i i wrote a song about uh about that breakup repeatedly obviously but there was one specifically about the moment and i won't even try to do the song because i know it will fail at remembering those words but um it was the moment that he said that it was over, I was like, I was like in a wash of relief. Because it was just like, oh, I don't have to do this anymore. But it was also just uh, something that I was completely aware of the fact that like I had been hollowed out and I needed to be filled again. Dang. Hmm? You want me to do the gavel? Okay. Let the record show that this was a, a, a request from the audience and not a response to. <laughs> but it kind of does go. You're right, Kathy. You're you're full on with this one. But uh, I wrote this one. Um, I had a band in, in Nashville called the White Owls there for a hot minute, um, and my buddy T.J. McFarland helped me write this one, and I put it on my second record. Um, yeah, but it's about wanting shit to be over and done with. Um, but uh. I also feel like this is politically charged at this point, too, because <laughs> how about our Democrats right now? Just like Tilly, <laughs> just be like, we're just going to leave the state so they can't fucking pass legislation that doesn't that takes away our voting rights and yet does nothing about the fact that we have uh, infrastructure that's falling apart and we have electric grid that is constantly telling us that isn't quite capable of handling it. I'm like, why aren't we nationally part of the grid anymore? Like, why do we do this? Regulations. Right. And all those are Republicans. Sorry. I'll stop preaching. I'll let the song do it for me. Build up the plastic on this textured heart All our flaws Was falling apart now It bubbles up Every time You come walking Across my mind And I keep waiting I keep waiting For the devil You play the victim, you play the victim, I'll be the fool, I'll be the fool. How's the cards when nobody rules? Rage shakes the rafters, the ground that sheds our blood. Dusted and dirty, all covered in mud, and I keep waiting. your hands girl divvy it up in yours and mine and slick back your head jack and better luck next time and I keep waiting I keep waiting for the devil to fall and I keep waiting
Thank you, Kathy Sis, for that request. <laughs> I forget about that one. That one's fun. Yeah, originally inspired by a friend's divorce. <laughs> but, uh, like, can we just sign the papers? I want to no longer be attached to you. <sighs> Did you watch the Tina Turner documentary? Not yet. Oh! We didn't deserve Tina Turner. Can I just say that? Like, we are so lucky that we had her for what we had her for. And, like, she just became this giant icon. But she gave so much. And it's like, it didn't even occur to me, like, every time. Like, she just wanted to put her story out there to put it to bed. But like, here's what happened. This is it. Now can we go forward? And every time, they were constantly just bringing back up we talk about this story and it's like asking someone to relive their trauma and over and over again and not even like realizing that that's what they're doing. And I, I think it's kind of like something that I've become aware of, especially in the past, you know, few years, I guess, of working with therapy and like realizing um, how we do such harm to each other by, by doing that. We have to be careful writing the songs too. Yeah. It could be the same thing. I totally had that experience with uh, uh, a song that I wrote about rape culture, you know, and uh, not realizing that that could be really triggering for a lot of people, too. Um, so uh, if your reason is for writing it, you know, for the for the education of and then if it causes the harm to the person that you are essentially writing the story for, then that uh, can be a very sad moment. <laughs> Yeah, but I also mean for our own stories, too. Yeah. Like. True that. We, we have to be careful, like, how much to share sometimes. Mm hmm Um. I don't know how to be careful with that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all on a journey. Really, really bad about it. <laughs> well, this is not at all a response to your song. Okay. Um. Uh, this one's for my grandma, about my grandma. Um, she's one of the things I lost last year. Um, and it's called See You Again. My earliest memories took place in your home When all us kids would spend the night Get up early to watch cartoon shows until we smell pancake delights. Each holiday, the whole family came for your cranberry jubilee. And all our goodbyes were a wave and a cry of I love you and see you next week. We'd hug and we'd smile And leaving was always easy When goodbye was only for a while And I knew that I'd see you again Each Sunday morning I'd sit in your pew taking in gospel song you were the first alto i heard though i thought you were singing it wrong as i grew and matured and found my own church we started drifting apart a couple tattoos and a city of blue I found my way under different stars but we'd hug and we'd smile and leaving was always easy when goodbye was only for a while and I knew that I'd see you again the last time we met you looked at me funny and asked if you knew me from before. For all my life you've been family. Now I'm a stranger you don't know anymore. So I 
work up a smile and hold out my hand. I won't let the tears show. Cause I can't get back the you from my past, the person I lost long ago. When we Feel you on that. I am. Um, so this record that I'm doing with my sister is called Ghost Stories. <laughs> so, like, my record is called Last Will and Testament. So, going into ghost stories <laughs> seemed like the right thing to do. <laughs> um, but um, we have had a lot of loss um, over the past few years. It seems um, more and more common, especially in this past year, for anybody who lost anybody to COVID been a an onslaught i feel like 2016 was like the year of death like it was so many people <laughs> um usually i would do the the uh, george reef song but i feel like doing this one um It's another one that's off of uh, the Sisters record. So this one's called The Ballad of Sissy and Porter, and it's about Chris Porter. Sissy left out in the pouring rain. Says she going somewhere she can change her name. Fire in her hair, a little sparkle in her eyes. Little did you know what would happen next. His border was as loaded as a hot check. And when they hit the border, they were high as a kite in the middle of a hurricane. Cold and morning cage and nights. Take the highway to the northern lights. Where the drinks are strong and the music feels right. Talking about places we never been. The lights on the porch burning all night long. Sissy says, Put a baby, play my song. The wishing a hope like a charm against the pain. But just like a storm when it's blowing in, it's over just as fast as it began. Every now and then, Sissy thinks about Porter and the sound of the pouring rain. Golden morning cage and nights, take the highway to the northern lights, where the drinks are strong and the music feels right. Oh, the baby, take me by the hand, swing me dancing. 
ever been. Well, there's truth to every story that we like to tell. Wherever Porter's living, I hope he's well. But holding on the line, it ain't something you can do for long. Sitting on the porch in a rocking chair, thinking about the stories that she'll never share. And watching as the sky grow darker, the storm keeps rolling in. Places we never been. Just spinning yarn and talking about places we never been. <laughs> yeah. I wrote that one with uh, Bonnie Montgomery. Have you hung out with her at all? She's come and been my guest. She's amazing. She's a it's also fascinating to meet another Bonnie because typically we seem to have a lot of things in common beyond our names, and it can be really creepy sometimes. But she and I wrote that one together, and it was really awesome to kind of get it. But Porter was the type of person that could spin a yarn. It's like you knew it was, you knew there was truth in there somewhere. You just didn't know to which leaning of the direction it w it went. Even when I was part of the story, I was like, I was there, and I don't remember any of this stuff, but it makes for a much better story. <laughs> nice. Well, I like it a lot. It reminded me of, it doesn't, it's not necessarily related, but it made me think, oh, this might be a nice response. Oh, yeah. This, uh, a desperate this love is song. This, uh, um, this is the, the this tiny desk. Yeah, this is the kalimba. It's a little wooden instrument with metal tines. Um, and I got not stranded in Montana, but I went on a trip and I couldn't bring my guitar and my luggage. So I found something that would fit and awesome. wrote a song on it that I really <laughs> liked <laughs> and it was a borrowed instrument. So I had to go buy one. So did you have to put a, a pickup in it and no, everything? You can buy, you you can can buy, buy them with them yeah. with all that. Yes. I've never seen them this fancy. I think we had one as a kid, but. Um, you're very proficient at them. Thanks. So. I have to, like, keep my thumbnails a, a certain way now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bet. Um, well, this is called The Island, and it's a kind of a desperate love song. I like those. Light. He said, honey, you may have angels keeping you in the light, but I've got these demons and they're holding me tight. So if you've a moment and can spare me the time, I'm in over my head, won't you throw me a lifeline? Cause I'm lost in the ocean Searching for the shore You're the island That I've been looking for I hope you let me land Cause I can't bear to let you go oh, oh, oh. He said, love, I'm a man I've been wandering so long I'd almost lost all hope You existed at all But I see you and I feel you You can't be a ghost If you're willing to see me Then I have to know Cause I'm lost in the ocean 
searching for the shore you're the island that i've been looking for i hope you let me land because i can't bear to let you go You're my sunshine, my refuge, my peace in the storm. You're the reason I'm seeing stars I've never seen before. I was lost in the ocean, searching for the shore. You're the island that I've been looking for. I hope you let me can't bear to let you go oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> thank you I don't know how to follow that I keep wanting to go back to play. I basically just want to do all the Whitmore's record right now. Whitmore Sisters record, which, whatever. Why not? I'm one of them, right? <laughs> um, um, I don't know, but that, that reminded me of this one. This one's qu sort of like a... Um, at the opposite end All right. of, uh, so th this is going into the relationship and this is coming out of, I guess is the way I'm going to put it. This one is uh, called um, um, Superficial World of Love. such a long time to let go of needing your touch now I understand you felt that I needed too much holding on to hurt only made it worse why do I need a crutch I guess I seem frustrated so let me take a deep breath Nobody's at fault. I know it's not what you intend. And when I say forever, never say never, what I really meant was the impression you left on me. It was permanent. Some right Explain it better, can't let you down. Don't always see how I am worthy. Question what's good for me, I doubt myself. To tether or to sever, barely held together, could not make a sound. Sometimes you'd rather disappear than say things that you fear out loud. Some right morning when this war is over, we'll go riding and with shining. 
took me such a long time to let go of needing your time. I love that one a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Superficial World of Love. And, uh, I really honestly, I feel like I was, um, I, I grew up with a, a mom who was classically trained and um, sang opera in particular. So I always had those like super dramatic, you know, where the heroine always like kills herself and or dies of sadness or something of that sort, you know. So I can see where it, it gets influenced in my music. But I think I was thinking about that when I was writing it, getting my little traviata on, so to speak. <laughs> Yeah, Thank I love you. that one so much. Thank you. I was uh, hearing some harmonies. So y'all sing it together, sisters, right? So yeah. yeah, I need to hear y'all sing it together. Oh, that was really one of the, I'll just mention this because it's kind of funny. So when we were making it, like Eleanor has been referred to um, and also identifies as the pitch bitch. So anytime you're doing recordings or something like, if it doesn't pass the pitch bitches like radar, it's like do it again. Um, but so she was the one that was like sitting there and uh, uh, comping all the vocals together, and like so she's listening to her harmonies or whatever, and she's like, "Holy shit, I did that whole entire section. It's like all this one like thing because otherwise you would see like it looked like the rainbow collection of just like this little snippet for this syllable and that little syllable. I shouldn't be telling you guys this. This is like." <laughs> Behind scene behind the, the curtain, curtain or something <laughs> but anyway it was it was pretty uh amazing that she was like oh, i got that whole piece together and it's like yeah bitch nice we're so good at that awesome. anyway well i love that one that's a great one beautiful yeah, very beautiful. thank you thank you hello i'm just stalling because i'm not sure what to play next well yeah, but we i also really love the song <laughs> we're we're we got a couple more songs a piece for you so um Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with us yeah, tonight. Yeah, thank you uh, for coming. Uh, the Waters are, are, are after us, um, which are a great little local band, uh, and I've been really glad to have uh, this night together. So they're fun, and they're going to get everybody up and dancing. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. <laughs> how to get up and dance? No, well... I know how I know I know how to get up and dance, but um, actually, it was uh, a friend of mine. We went roller skating the other day, and she was like, "You can't, you can't roller skate to country songs." And I was like, "This sounds like a challenge to me. <laughs> like, I need to come up with <laughs> a roller skate roller skating record that is uh, like Americana country songs." Have you been watching? Like, do you follow? You're on Instagram. Yeah. Like, do you? I follow like some dancers and some yeah. roller skate dancers yes. and like I have this whole like section. It just like makes me so like uh, this girl who dances on a longboard uh -huh. in California and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I like, cannot do that, but it looks nice. Yeah. It's, it's well, like all the things that you get really into on the internet, like I don't actually have animals. Like this is the closest thing that I have is my T-Rex. Her name is Tyrona, by the way. Um, she's as close to a, a pet that I have, but, um, uh, but I really love watching like cat 
memes and TikToks of cats. Like it's it's like my porn basically. Like I just get really excited and we'll just sit there and just watch them endlessly, which nice. is a really terrible. Well, I found a good one. I'll send you. <laughs> Please send me all of them. <laughs> I want I want all of them. I think our friendship basically started when I started like screen capping all of these like dinosaur jewelry and was like <laughs> sending it to you. Yeah, the one that like the little bi- like yeah, bits. the little like, I di- I T-Rex I earrings and them. stuff and like a necklace. I never got them. Oh, it was the bones. Oh, I, get, I got the bones. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Secretly, I wanted to buy them, but I knew that you would. So someone should enjoy that lovely necklace. It's amazing how many things that I've like are in my collection that I didn't actually. They were bought for me, mm. not that I purchased for myself. But you know, whatever. Yes, I like dinosaurs. What can I, I say? appreciate that. <laughs> um, well, this song is called "All We Need." Well, did I decide on that one? Sure. Some days you never know what hits you in the face. Was it love? Was it allergies? Falling out of grace. Sometimes you never see what stops you on a dime. Was it greed or prosperity? Stepping out of line. Ooh, everybody wrestles with their demons, fighting to find freedom. Hey, hey, everybody needs an absolution. Everybody wants something that moves them. All we need is love. Some days you think you've heard the truth instead of lies And then the light shines through the darkness Fiction's all you find Sometimes you think you know both sides of the debate And there's a fight and you get angry and start giving in to hate Ooh, everybody wrestles with their demons Everybody's fighting to find freedom. Hey, hey, hey. Everybody needs an absolution. Everybody wants something it moves them. All we need is love. Everybody wrestles with their demons. We're fighting to find freedom. Hey, hey, hey. Everybody needs an absolution. Everybody wants something and moves them. Ooh, everybody wrestles with their demons. We're fighting to find freedom. Hey, Everybody needs an absolution. Everybody wants something and moves them. All we need is love. All we need is love. Thanks. And thanks for that's awesome. Chiming in with the bass. Mm-hmm. You're so good at it too. <laughs> I'm like, it's intimidating because you can just like <laughs> do everything. No, I'm just saying it out loud. We're all thinking it. Well, I, I feel that way about a lot of the other people. I don't. I don't know that I qualify in that one. But I, I like to sit in on bass, and it's already kind of like pins and needles because like, you always know when the bass player fucks up. Even when the bass player doesn't fuck up, everybody will look at the bass player like, it was you, wasn't it? And they're <laughs> like, damn it. Um, I like that one a lot. I kind of want to do uh, this 
Speaking of things that people need, um, this one is uh, called It's What You Do. So uh, it's the first one I wrote on this Monster 8 string. Basically, I just am trying to be like Nick Lowe. I don't know if I'm succeeding in it, but I'm trying. Um, this one uh, is, is just a... Uh, I realize that we've, like, this social media and everything really allows us to uh, kind of shout into a void, you know, and, and it's about needing to stop and actually take in what other people are, are trying to say. We don't always, we're not, not we've, we've lost a lot of our, our ability to listen to other people, I think. Uh, we're too, too much about what we want to say, and that kind of was what the inspiration behind the song, that and politics, but, you know. Oh, it was really funny today, though. I was, uh, somebody was, I was going to get new tires for my car, and, and uh, the guy was like, oh, you play music, because I stupidly was, like, realizing I needed to put the spare in there, and I had all my gear in the back, and I was like, what gave you that impression while I haul out a bass amp? Um, <laughs> he's like, what kind of music do you play? And I go, well, it's Americana, so basically it's, like, uh, the the democratic country, as or I mean, uh, is that right? What is that what I'm saying? It's less less Republicans in the Americana realm, it seems to me. They're still there. I'm gonna stop talking about it. <laughs> Sorry. A little a little louder. What? we get a future so unclear reality ain't a thing you choose so whether the puppet or the hand that goes up in we're in this together through and through I know love can persevere. Gotta stop giving in a fee. Yeah. And shut up and listen. Look at what you are missing. Reflect on what's inside of you. Yeah. I need you to hear me. And I want you to see. The joy can be found, but that depends on you and what you do. We all got problems. Accountability is one that comes down to what defines you. You can stand there in judgment or think you're above it. That only isolates you. As I want you to give a damn, rise up, be human. So shut up and listen. The joy can be found, but that depends on you and what you do. You send out the love, breathing the suffering. There's no matter what side you're on, it's worth recovering. It's what you do so shut up and listen look at what you are missing reflect on what's inside of you yeah I need you to hear me and I want you to 
What you do, it's what you do. Yeah. Thank you so much. Hello, Mr. X. Yes, all right. So this is basically going to be our last one tonight. So thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with us. Uh, this is this is going to help and keep me up on the the, the drive up to, to Denton tonight. And uh, if you guys are on Instagram, you should uh, follow Natalie Price, and she does a uh, a show. It's on Instagram, right? Okay. Oh uh, well. Are you doing it like YouTube and stuff now? Too? YouTube and Facebook now. Ah, okay. We've branched out since oh. the time that I did it. But anyway, she has this awesome talk show where she uh, has different guests uh, every week, every Monday. Am I correct? Yes. Um, at 10 o'clock. And um, uh, well, you tell them about it, honestly. I mean, it's, yeah, pretty much every Monday. It's a lot of musicians, sometimes like attorneys, managers, other creatives, painters, photographers. People that I get on, and I, I basically end up asking other people about what they do and why, like what keeps them inspired, because that inspires me, and that's kind of what kept me inspired through <laughs> last year. Yeah. <laughs> keeping keeping that going. So the year that will not be named. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't count. It just doesn't count. W none of us actually got older last year, right? Yeah, we 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 didn't age. We 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 don't get to count that one. I mean. There right. you go. <laughs> All right. There you Every go. time I say last year, I mean 2019. Yeah. Is that still happening to y'all? Also, have you had really awkward interactions with other people? Like. Oh, this is uh, the whole thing. Reentry. My 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 go-to saying has been reentry is hard and burnout is real. Oh yeah, you told um, us last week. So it's just. That's just like a thing that we should all be aware of. It's like we all have been traumatized, even if you don't necessarily think it's trauma. Like this whole experience is traumatizing, and we're going to see this come up. So we just need to give each other a little bit more space and room to, to get through it. Because that's the only way you get through it. Doing it. Yeah. Well, this one is called Done. That's a perfect way to end the set. I think I'll take up smoking Never have before To keep my fingers busy And my body off the floor You had me at your silhouette You and your hat and hair And when I saw you in the light I had to get some air what have you done to me done done to me done 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 to me oh well lately I've been hungry but I can't seem to stomach food Because you make me so damn nervous It's the strangest truth I wrote that script out in my head The one where we were friends And somehow it made sense to me But I couldn't read what have you done to me, done, done to me, done, done, done to me? What have you done to me, done, done to me, done, done, done to me? And you think that I'm a robot programmed from my youth? That I don't make my choices or consider other views and the 
truth is and the truth is and the truth is that I got a little drunk last night and lost all of my clothes and woke up with you on my mind I'll never let you know done to me done done to me done to me done done to me what have you done to me done done to me done everybody Bonnie Whitmore thank y'all so much next week I have Kelly Mickley with me which I'm very excited um, y'all have a wonderful evening the waters are up next and y'all don't forget to take care of Kelly behind the bar Mwah. thank y'all so much